We used to go topless bars, uh, strip shows. What? Yeah. <laughs> I have no idea that you used to do that. That was fun, I like it. <laughs> Fatherhood! It's Father's Day, coming up soon. About two years ago, the Try Guys made a motherhood series for Mother's Day. So we're doing a whole fatherhood series. One video every day that's all about dads. Uh -oh. <laughs> Is it rude for me to say I want out? The Try Guys are going to become fathers. No, we're not. We're gonna become daddies. No. Or at least invite our dads to come in from across the nation to let us know how terrible it was to raise us. More accurate. So today we're recreating photos of our dads in a name to better understand who they were when they were our age. I think many times the father-son relationship is the least developed in the family. His life starts when I was born. But before that, he's just like us. So I don't really know a ton about my dad, which is why we want to do this whole series. Let's get daddied. <laughs> Daddies. It's weird, there's some photos I look at my dad and I'm like, I don't recognize that man. And then there's some photos I'm like, wow, that's my face. I doubt he knows what day this photo was taken, but my dad is rocking a mean porn stash. Is it weird to call your dad's stash a porn stash? It's a porn stash. I think my dad and I are really similar in a lot of ways. My dad and I talk about music and we talk about football. And that's kind of it. When I check in with my parents about how my life is going, I call my mom. I want to get advice from him. And, and we don't do that. I know my mom always says that my dad was funny. I don't see it. <laughs> Apparently that's how my dad won my mom. And God knows if I find somebody, that's gonna be how I do it. A lot of my memories are playing outside with my dad. So my dad is a doctor, but he kind of took some time to figure that out. He was actually a tennis pro for a while. I always think of my dad as a clean cut guy. His hair is long. My dad has never had long hair. <laughs> I definitely got my competitive nature from my dad. We would play a lot of sports growing up and he would always he beat me. <laughs> my dad would play the sports that he was good at. We would play tennis, we would play squash, we would play ping pong. We never really played soccer. Hmm. I love my dad. He's great. He's a big old nerd. So when people always talked about how tall I was, he'd say, yeah, he's gruesome. You think your dad loves puns? My dad invented puns. I don't know a ton about my dad's life before me. The only thing I know is that he is a mining engineer. In, he was in a barbershop quartet called The Four Ever Yours. I mean, come on. Music is really one of the biggest ways that I think my dad and I have bonded. So I thought if I was gonna make anything of my dad, I should make his iconic foursome with my iconic foursome. How different the Try Guys could have been, you know? Mm -hmm. When I was a kid, I really hated my dad. He was never home. He had to work about two hours away, so for a chunk of my childhood, he was never there for five days a week. Every time I saw my dad, he had to play the disciplinarian roles. In retrospect, I feel really bad for him because we did have a lot of issues growing up, but I think a lot of it was just the expectation of what a man should be in his family. And then my parents got divorced. My dad versus Jay are two different people. Jay is the man that came out of the divorce. He became everything that I think he was destined to be, which is a good person with a, a great sense of humor. I'm very excited to learn what this moment was in this hammock where he's like dreamily looking up at the sky that would warrant that smile. When I was a child, I would never see that expression on his face. Daddy, 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 daddy. Like, hey Adam. Just be like, oh. Yeah, call me Adam. I'm Adam Kornfeld and I am Zach Kornfeld's father. Hey Dad. Hi Zach. I wanted to be in the music business since I could remember. I was eight or nine years old. I used to listen to Casey Kasem's American Top 40 and I was hooked. He loves rock and roll. I remember listening to the Beach Boys and the Beatles and, and Bob Marley and I look like Freddie Mercury's like pudgier brother. I'm about the same age as you are now in that photo. Uh, it was on the beach on Fire Island. Uh, one of my favorite places in the world. Your grandparents actually met there in the late 1950s. That's a happy memory photo. I'm Jim, I'm, I'm Ned's dad. Um, and then I don't know what I'm talking about after that. Um. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you know, I've played practically every sport. It's not as popular nowadays, but in the 70s, tennis was huge. God, it's such an action shot. I'm really jumping out at this. We sometimes joke that I'm really obsessed with marriage, but I think I get it from my dad. He will do anything for his family. Every summer, in fact, I've never missed a summer in my life with my dad and 
my mom. We uh, go to this place called the Thousand Islands. Crowds would come out to watch these tournaments that we'd have. This photo is of me in one of the tournaments. React to the left. You know, even just recreating this in a photo studio is tough. I don't think I fully realized how good at tennis my dad was. I know this smile of my dad's very well. He has one smile. I'm Don Habersberger. I'm Keith's father. He has two other sons. You have two other sons. No, <laughs> Did I say that? Let's start all, all over. I'm recently retired, and I spent over 40 years in, in the mining industry. I was in choirs ever since fourth grade. I began going to barbershop practices and got into a quartet, the four ever yours. <laughs> so the play on words. Music was the, the part to balance my, my life with. Sweet Adola. Sweet Adola. I'm Eugene's dad. I was 41 years old when he was born. Kind of old. I guess he's relaxed now because he's retired, but he had a pretty stressful life. Even in this photo, I have no idea if this was taken in Korea. Growing up in a war-torn country, I think, does something to you. I'm kind of used to be dreamer. All I was thinking about was like a John Wayne and cowboys. That's all I see in the movies. It wasn't like that when I came to the US. What was it like instead? Uh, it's a very conservative country. You have to work very hard trying to make money. <laughs> trying to support the family. For an Asian family and for an immigrant family, we don't share stories to begin with. So to force my dad to come here and talk about that stuff on screen is pretty uncomfortable for both of us. He seemed happier before he was a dad. How did your life change once you had children? Was, I was so happy. Hey, Dad. Hey, Zach. How are you? I'm great. Welcome to BuzzFeed. Thanks. This is where I work. Wow. Yeah, wow. Great shirt choice. I like yours too. What would you normally be doing uh, right now? Playing golf. I don't really know about you in between college and my birth. The in between is like really foggy and hazy. Yeah, for me too. <laughs> yeah, I bet. <laughs> Show us that photo. <laughs> <laughs> so we got the same belly, same chest hair pattern. So handsome. You're just saying that because I look like you in this photo. <laughs> yeah. I have bigger nipples than you. Yes, bigger than most people. Yeah. <laughs> I was probably listening to Bruce uh, in that should have known. You are an East Coast dad. Yes. <laughs> Baby, we were born to sit. You and mom are both like crazy workaholics. I think that's why you love the beach so much because this is like just the only place that you turn your brain off. That's true. This is my weekend relaxation moment. Your job, like my job, it's, it's your life. Yeah. Sons being similar to their fathers. It's horrifying. <laughs> okay, let's see it. <laughs> That's a good likeness. That's a nice wig you got there. Thank you. Where'd you get the rackets? They don't Actually, have those uh, rackets anymore. Ariel had a racket that she picked up at a flea market. <laughs> so this is during a tournament. Oh, a tournament. Yeah. This photo suddenly has stakes that I didn't realize. Yeah. Were you the reigning champion? Yeah. Wow. Yeah, so that's something that impressed mom. No, she doesn't impress by she, that kind you, of stuff. I mean, she, that's what I looked like when I dated her. <laughs> she, got, she was into that. What was her deal, anyway? <laughs> yeah. I was very immature. How so? Yeah, I did some pranks. I would get really frustrated easily. As I've gotten older, I've gotten more wise than I used to be. Hmm, interesting. About to turn 30, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> Looking at the original photo, I already look pretty similar. So here okay. is here's the new one. Oh, look at that. <laughs> is it different? Right? <laughs> Definitely not adopted. We had a lot of outfits. I don't know how many we had, but um, this outfit, a few years later, was what we, I was married in. I, yeah. I don't think I connected the two. Right. And they, these were the ones who were you know, best man and ushers at the wedding. Um, after the wedding, they, we performed. Oh. Down our way, boat. And the last song we performed was a song called The Auctioneer. And they auctioned me off. And Patty, your mom, uh -huh. got me. She bit on me and got me. Did any other woman give her a run for her money? No, uh -huh. they wouldn't dare. <laughs> <It was> like, <laughs> I also bit on Don. <laughs> and our voices blend very well because we have the same voice. Yeah. <laughs> These three guys are uh, part of my groomsmen. Uh, so we decided we would Photoshop all of us into your photo. Oh, <laughs> that's funny. So you ready to see it? Sure. All right, let's see it. Wow! 
That's you? Yeah. Just like me. Yeah. Well, I look better than you are. Yeah, that's true. Can I start asking him questions? Yeah. Okay, so where in Korea was this taken? No, it was uh, Houston, Texas. What? Why were you in Houston? I was medical training. Where was mom? I was, I didn't marry that time until end of- You didn't move to America with mom? No. I was single. You were single in America? Yeah, for- You're single five, here? Five years, yeah. You never listened. No, you never told me. Did you have sex before mom? Well, there's a lot of girls. Wait, plural? Huh? More than one? Yeah. Were all of them Korean? No. What? That's when I didn't be there, right? No, it's all on <laughs> What were you thinking about in your photo? I was thinking about uh, my future. I changed a lot uh, since I have a city kid. You know, I became a better person, I have to. We went through a lot of uh, fertility clinics. Really? Yeah, I did a sperm test too, like your try guys. I didn't know you were trying so hard to have kids. God, that explains a lot. We tried to hold up the kid. What? Yeah. Then she became pregnant. Yeah, it was the happiest day of my life when my city kid came. Why haven't we talked about this before? Well, anyway, you know, we're getting old, so nothing to hide. That's true. All right, um, cool, Dad. Cool. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> I'm enjoying being a try dad. I want you to know that. Try dad. There's a lot more because we've what? got four more. You know this. No. Yes, you know. I told you. We're actually doing like a whole week of videos with you. So hold on tight, daddy. All right. <laughs>a scenario, I can draw you a cartoon within a few seconds. Oh man, I would like to see a, uh, a monkey eating cheesecake at a fancy table. I can do that.